when I see women not knowing their worth. Like, <laughs> baby, do you know that wars have been started over women? Yes, but women that were worth that value, women that weren't ran through, and women that had their real hair. That's the difference. Women try to use that, but are they the same women as back then? No. <laughs> like, when a man levels up his life, what is one of the first things that he wants? It's a beautiful woman. When you see an unattractive man and a woman walk in, what goes through your mind? You must think, you think to yourself, hmm, I wonder what he had to do to bag her. He must be rich. He must be something, like a celebrity. He must be something to get her. Like, the mere presence of a woman in a man's life gives him status. It levels him up. <laughs> Incorrect. The man already has status, so that's what brings the women in. And the man gets to choose what he has. Women are just a cherry on top. That's the thing. Once a man has the status already, he doesn't need the woman to create more status. Women are just a byproduct of his status, a byproduct of his work, and a byproduct of his selection. See, women don't understand men, but men have to understand women to get them. I heard this lady made this analogy and I thought it was perfect. Now she said, imagine when you go to the arcade and you know when you see the prizes that are in the glass case that you that are very easy accessible, that you just have to put a pound in to win. Then you know that there are prizes on the top, top shelf that you have to play continuously and win multiple tickets and like multiple visits just to be able to get up there to win that top prize. Now, yes, women, we are born with our value. Men, they have to go and create their own but women when it comes to your wealth where do you stand are you easy accessible or does men have to work for you that's a terrible analogy because women are the ones that are the claw machine men are the ones that are inside the case because you got to understand there are less attractive men than there are women so if there's more of you supply and demand you are the ones that have to work for these men and if the man has a pick of the litter and he doesn't have to buy the cow because the milk is free what makes you think that you are the prize? That's a terrible analogy. And your self-worth and where's your value place? The man is the one who gives you your value. If you can attract and attain a man, that's where your value lies. If you can get a high percentage man or you can get a man that's a millionaire or a man that's rich, you know what I'm saying? To actually like take care of you, actually put you in a relationship and give you commitment, then your value is high. Your self-assessment doesn't matter. And that ultimately boils down to if you love yourself unconditionally or not. Because people, men, they shouldn't be able to tell you what your worth is. That's what you're supposed to do. Could, should, would. But what is? What is is that you having self-love for yourself doesn't do anything but collect you cats, plants, and dogs. The thing is, how you feel about yourself is not a reflection of your results in life. And that's what women get twisted. You get your ego invested, you get your ego and your narcissism involved. And that right there, ma'am, is what screws you all up. That's what gets you guys so chronically single. But the truth is, your value is based on the type of men you can retain. See, men attain women and then they have sex with them. Once they attain them for the sex, after the sex, it's on you to try to keep the man. Because the men gives out the relationship and the women gives out sex. So if you can keep those guys, that's how men assess you. So let's just say you're 35 years old right now making this video. I'm just assuming your age and you're talking to a guy or guys are looking at you. And then you tell them th your story online or in person with a guy. I'm 35. I'm single at right there. It's going to stop. The guy's going to say you're 35 and you're single. What's wrong with you? Why are you broken? Men are going to think something is totally wrong with you because how come you can't retain a man? Where are your results? Where's your resume? What makes you think that you are a prize? That right there kills it all and women hate that. They're like, no, a man should not be able to assess my value. But how else are we going to make a selection on a woman to give our commitment to if we don't see your track record? If we don't find the value in you? So you can't self-assess yourself. It makes no sense. It's dumb. Just like a man can't come into your life and say, well, I'm a millionaire. And then you're like, well, you're 40 years old. You only make like 20K a year and you drive a freaking Miata. Like, definitely you're not a millionaire. What? Oh, well, I'm a man. What do you mean? Like, my self-worth says that I'm high value. It says I'm rich. Women are going to look at you and you're going to look like that guy like he's freaking insane. So just stop the cap. Women, only women do this, bro. 
Only women do. Men don't walk around saying that, that they're special, that they're this, and that no woman uh, can tell me my worth, and I have self-love. Only women believe this garbage, and only women spew out this trash. <laughs> it's nonsense. Men don't think this way. Only the brainwashed uh, women that are out in the UK, the United States, and in first world countries in the West. <laughs> Absolutely ridiculous when you actually break it down. You know who would never get on the podcast, Mike, and embarrass that wipe this man right here they would have been like you know who sierra is oh yeah me and my sister used to have one two step routines i love sierra well man what you're failing to tell everybody is that this is not sierra's first choice she was with future future had multiple women she didn't understand the rules because of course women think that they're the prize and they're special and you should only be with them so what does she do she backdoored and left him and now at her old age she only could settle for a beta male which is russell wilson so yeah, of course he's not gonna go on the internet and ruin that. I mean, it's the same beta male simp who took a chick who already had a kid, right? Or was that Gabrielle Union? No, that, that was Sierra. I think she had a baby from, from Future, right? Absolutely ridiculous. So it's not the same. So women wanna glorify simps, but you forget that Sierra was going after bad boys, giving away those goodies, those goodies, when, you know, back in the day she was saying not my goodies but she was giving them away to rappers uh celebrities and guys that were just going to run through her and then she was losing her eggs getting old wasn't getting the same amount of attention you know because of her age not because of her looks and she had to settle for russell wilson and he honestly settled for her so it's not the same this guy understands his value and for some reason it gets demonized when a man understands his value and he says it out loud you just can't be honest with these women nowadays the man is the prize because women need what they need men in their lives a man like that he doesn't need uh to be married if he doesn't want to get married he is young he's an athlete he's a safety for the the houston texans like he's doing okay he's a millionaire that's the thing she needed him that's what I'm trying to say. So more balls could have could have got somebody else, but when women make a certain amount of money, they outprice themselves in the dating market. So that's what this woman is failing to tell everybody. I didn't know who she was at the time, but like the first thing that I saw was that she just had a bunch of followers. So in my mind, I'm like, okay, she got to be good. If so, before that guy made that oh you capping face, you got to think about something. When a woman has a lot of followers it's not something that's like oh my gosh she has so many followers so she's somebody there's women that are nobodies that have more followers typically than men do uh regular guys on instagram so he's actually making a point a lot of women if you're attractive enough you can get way more options way more guys in your dms and way more guys and other people following you but of course you know this this is the generation of men can't have standards everything a man says is cap he knew who she was as if she is going to be exalted and elevated uh to being some type of a prize but <laughs> it's just i found that funny but let's continue y'all remember that series if you give a mouse a cookie and all that bad shit happened because you gave a mouse a cookie if you give a man a podcast mike you don't know who simone biles is read a book read a book it's titled simone biles really the catch in I always say we the men are catch, man. I always say we the catch. When that goodies video came out, I was like, yeah, I used to dance in my room to her music. I used to get ready to game. If you give a man in a relationship that feels like he's less than his girlfriend or wife, a um, podcast, Mike, this is what happens. It's like I'm the catch. It's like I'm the catch. Simone Biles, height, age, net worth, achievements, husband. What's your favorite song when you prepping for the game, Russ? Like a boy. I love like a boy. Beta, 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 beta. Go eat some Simone Bow cereal. Do you have some cereal? I don't think so. Everybody in that room knew you was captain. And even if she didn't have or did have the cereal and she was Simone Biles and all this stuff, she still slid into dudes DMs because women are still attracted to those traits. So her accolades, her having cereal boxes, having the trailblazer, her own book, being this name and oh, Google Simone Biles. Men don't find that attractive. Those are masculine traits. Women find these traits that she have in men attractive like when michael jordan was on the cereal box when michael jordan had books when michael jordan had vhs tapes and series women way more women found that man attractive but when you put those accolades on a woman it's like okay what else do you have men are not typically attracted to that so that's what i don't understand about this yeah she has all these masculine accolades but she should be happy that 
somebody because she slid on on him that somebody actually took her serious and got into a marriage because typically women who make a lot of money who have a name who have status they get they get admonished or they get with a guy they have to settle for that's at their level when a guy's at you know the same level with her he's going to be having multiple chicks he's going to be oh supposedly having infidelity on all this garbage if he marries her or if he gets into some type of a committed relationship but the man is the one who gives the commitment so simone biles and being a, a female on top of that she can only date under her hypergamy level which is uh straight across meaning she makes the same as the guy or higher men can date down so men have more options she outpriced herself out of the dating market to be completely honest because men don't find these traits attractive so looking up the name and look her up on google and she got her own book and she got she's on a wheaties box where are your wheaties box it doesn't matter the man's still a millionaire and the man is the one who gives out commitment women give out the access to sex so if nobody's knocking on simone biles door guess what she has to do what she did with this guy knock on his door dm him slide in his dms try to get his attention no matter the alc the accolades because m let's just flip it michael jordan he had the wheaties deal he had his own books he had a series he had vhs tapes he was the most dominant player he was popular but that is attractive naturally since you guys want to act like everybody's equal in this whole egalitarian thing like men and women are the same and we are attracted to the same thing which we're not attraction is asymmetrical to women that is attractive on michael jordan but flip it put it on simone biles do men really care about that no because women aren't built to share resources women aren't bred or aren't uh, built to be the breadwinners in relationships and take care of the man they get turned off repulsed so it doesn't matter her accolades i don't know why these hair-headed hooligans come on here and they get all upset about a relationship that they're not even in gossiping about men they can never get which is a safety in the nfl that plays for the houston texans that's a millionaire that's probably over six feet tall because she was looking up to him last time i checked i saw that clip she was looking up to him she looks up to him no matter how much money she makes she looks up to her man because men need the commitment i mean women need the commitment from men and access to sex he can get that anywhere i'm pretty sure there's other women out there and he is the catch because women are pursuing him men that are low value they go and they try to pursue all these women and women turn them down but the man gives out the commitment the men the man that are trying to hit up women and chase them around they're trying to get the tail and if they're low value they're trying to get relationships from them they're switching the roles it doesn't work the man that does the work the man that is accomplished the man that has resources the man that can protect provide provision he is the catch so men are always going to be the prize because men are not supposed to chase we're supposed to replace <laughs> that's just how it goes everybody in that room knew you was capping everybody in that room knew you should shut the up do we even have any partnerships is he even a fashion nova male like what the f man do you bro like that daily mail simone bows nfl husband they let you keep going you want to know why because they knew they was gonna get views off this shit they knew this was gonna be some clickbait they knew these clicks was about to go to off and they was about to get paid off yo dumb being stupid sierra so talented my wife got an album coming out september 23rd she has an angelic voice you want to know who would never play in a wife's face on a podcast russell a i am i am a i know no no i'm an alpha uh, uh not if you think you and your wife are equal beta oh that's because russell wilson has proven time and time again that he is a grade a certified mvp simp With that oh it's mr mvp simp and a woman's greatest power as i always used to say a woman's greatest power is a man that doesn't understand his own power doesn't understand his own standards doesn't understand his own net worth doesn't understand that he is the prize He's the man that women are chasing because there are less of these attractive men. I don't know why they don't understand this. That's why so many women are single. There are less of these attractive men out there than there are beautiful women and dutiful women. There are way less of these guys. So the thing is, a woman having this power of this man not understanding his value like Russell Wilson and settling for a chick who, quite frankly, is ran through by the industry, has a child from another man and him you know serenading and, and 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 talking about oh i listen to like a boy from my woman and him looking up to his woman the roles being switched over 
and her having to just settle for this well he's praising me well he's doing this and and this is my old age and her squeezing out those last kid or the uh, kids or kid for for this guy russell wilson is him not knowing his value so of course the mvp simp of them all uh is going to be praised by these women by these hyenas of course of course they're going to praise them because women think that they're special women think that they're the prize and women when they get a couple accolades they think they're on the same level or better than men but it doesn't matter because like i said before attraction is not symmetrical the things that women look for in men are not the same things that men look for in women that we find attractive that bring us together it's not attraction is asymmetrical so the things men look for in women which is beauty youth attractiveness uh submission femininity and chast are what men look for women they don't look for that they look for height competence charm they look for uh comp uh not competence resources security provisioning and a man who is masculine and willing to die for that woman it's two different things so her accolades her books it doesn't matter only thing that that's happening is that she's she's around in this time in this time period simone biles is a part of this push for women empowerment she just happened to be a part of this you know era and she gets this brand deal she gets everything because everything is power towards the woman everything is marketed towards the woman everything is uh women buying their buying power because they're in the market so if women are are, are on payroll they're they're uh, dominating most jobs in major cities they're making money women are they need to market to them so what do they do they put women that look like them women that have achievements it used to be men on those boxes and women looked up to them but they weren't in the job market they weren't uh, having jobs and making this much money in major cities as they are today so women are the ones that are the consumers the buyers so they're getting the money from the women that are working and they're like okay well we'll market everything towards you just like Old Spice. Old Spice was losing so much money. They were losing millions and millions of dollars when they were just marketing to men. And then they flipped it and then they started marketing to women and they made way more money back because it's easier to market to women because women are 80% of the consumer base. We all know this. And women, you know what I'm saying? They buy the most products. So once Old Spice flipped it and said, okay, let's market to women. They put Terry Crews on there shaking and acting crazy and being feminine and dancing and jiving and stuff. They they found their market. They were making money off of the women who were making money in major cities. That's how it goes. <laughs> so it doesn't matter. Hardwired biology, hardwired trace, hardwired attraction triggers don't change because of social constructs and the year that we're in, the era that we're in and what they're pushing on us. Doesn't matter. So, like I said, men are the prize because men are the ones who give out commitment. Women want commitment. And if a man has done the work, he's over six feet tall, attractive, charming, uh, understands his, his value, his worth, uh, can't, you know, be tricked and coerced. Women are going to come to him. They're going to come correct. And he doesn't have to chase. I bet you if we go into this man's DMs right now, he has way more options. He has way more DMs than Simone Biles has. I'm not saying she doesn't have any. But I'm saying, if you think about it, like, she's not smoking hot. She's a three or a four. Go into his DMs. He probably has DMs that he hasn't even opened from a few years ago. Since probably the pandemic. The man is uh, attractive in women's eyes. But this also proves that he has more options. That he, has the pri that he is the prize. Because who pursued who? Who hit who up? Who has what? This all proves itself. Simone Biles hit him up. At first, he said he didn't know who she was. He had a lot of followers. Maybe she's somebody. She continued to pursue him. He didn't have to pursue a chick. He didn't have to pursue anybody. You know what I'm saying? Like, this dude is a catch. This dude is doing well for himself. And there's less of these guys out there. So there's more women competing for him. So her accolades didn't get her into the door. He gave her a shot. He was like, okay, she's cool. She's not really a gold digger. She got her own money, blah, 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 blah. Past all that. He looked past all that. He was, she was actually uh, lucky to even have him look past all that. Because some guys would be like, uh, she could be a headache. But she's humble. She's clearly humble if he married her. He's clearly humble if she dated her and if he dated her and took her serious. But what he said is correct. Only thing it is, is it stings and it burns women's ego. 
the ego which controls and runs women and the market that controls and runs women so there you go this is exactly why the men are the prize and simone biles you know she got lucky but we'll see how long this lasts they they're both considerably young he's a millionaire he will have a better chance because we all know this when men get money when they get you know achievements and accolades and they are able to provide doors open when women make money have the same accolades as a man doors close because the threshold on the type of man that they want to get is higher it's harder too because women can only date across and above and men can date down every single time men don't care about a woman's money or accolades it'll be best if the woman we don't know nothing about her like nobody's been with her uh she ain't been on no rapper's boats a man will definitely definitely because her status doesn't matter a man will definitely deal with her but yeah man uh she lucked out and i that's why i believe men are the prize because when men get to a certain echelon in life they they make they hit a certain marker and they have most of the boxes that would check off for a woman what does he have to chase for what does he have to be in dms for women come to him women come to his achievements his accomplishments his competence which leads to accomplishments like <laughs> so simple but yeah man i don't know why they want to fight this 